how's it going? Good, how you doing? Good, you hear me okay? Yeah, I hear you. Great. All right, guys, we have PJ Williams here. If you have a question, throw it in the chat, and I'll call on you, and we'll get started. Our first question is going to be from Amos Morale. Amos? Hey, PJ. Um, I haven't been out to camp yet, but from everything I'm hearing and seeing, it looks like you're having a really good camp. Uh, was that a goal for you to come out and really you know, kind of impress early on and Oh, yeah, definitely. Just come out here, get better, making sure I'm learning new things, being able to go out there and make a few plays is always a good thing. So just coming out here every every year, you want to come out there and make some plays and make sure you're getting better and, and doing what you can do to help the team or be able to challenge the players on the team. Next question is from Nick Underhill. PJ, what do you think uh, about your skill set that makes it so easy? I don't, want, I don't know if easy is the right word, but the transition to safety, at least watching, looks easy because you're doing it so well. What, what about your skill set do you think has lent itself to allow you to do that? I feel like just uh, that I can process things pretty fast, like just being smart, knowing the game, and uh, also just my body type, being physical, uh, being a, a bigger corner, like it's an easy transition to be able to uh, play safety and, and being able to tackle, play physical and stuff like that. So just uh, being able to process the things is definitely a big thing for me. Malcolm Jenkins in there like um, you had some help with uh, when you had to play safety last season with uh, uh, DJ uh, but having Malcolm there too oh it's, it's big for us man just the leadership he brings and also just the knowledge uh, I've been learning a lot from him just in these few weeks we've been together so just picking his brain with him been playing as long as he's played and just I feel like all of us is learning a little bit from. Next question is from John DeSager. Uh, PJ, you, I think we kind of hear a lot of times that players focus better or concentrate better if they're in one position. Uh, playing multiple positions, does that kind of make you focus even more so? Yeah, definitely. I feel like that will definitely make you focus more because uh, playing corner and nickel, I've been playing that the last few years, so it's, uh, I pretty much know the ins and outs of that, but – when you got to learn a new position, you're more locked in in the meetings, uh, trying to learn new things. And, and I feel like learning uh, safety and uh, other positions, it just help you be able to understand the whole defense. So it's, it's definitely, I feel like it's helped me lock in a lot more. Next one's from Nick Underhill. PJ, I'm, I'm just curious, you, you've went up against him a couple times in, in one-on-ones. What's it like just to be against Deontay Harris in the line, just trying to stop him from getting up? Oh yeah, he he's he's real quick. So just his quickness is uh makes it what uh makes it tough to guard him. He's a, he's a quick guy off the line. So you got to be patient and move your feet instead of just trying to be uh real aggressive on the line with him. So he's he's definitely uh learned a lot since he's gotten here and getting a lot better. So he, he's not someone you want to try to get your hands on. Uh yeah, well, I I learned that. So uh, one time I tried to uh, to. Jump him at the line and, and miss, so I feel like, yeah, it's a guy you got to be patient with at the line. Next question is from Luke Johnson. Hey, PJ, uh, obviously you saw plenty of Jameis Winston as, a, as an opponent. Um, I'm just curious what your what your thoughts of, or, are of him now. Does he look any different to you from what the guy you saw in Tampa? Or, uh, what do you think he's, how do you think he's done so far? I think he's doing pretty good. He, he's learning. Uh, it's, it's definitely hard to see just being on the defensive side, like uh, paying attention to what I got going on. But as far as what I've been hearing and seeing, he's doing pretty good. He's definitely, I know you got to adjust, so you're going to go through uh, some some growing pains. But uh, I feel like he's doing good. And then talking to him, that's one of my uh, good friends. So uh, I've been hearing that he's been doing pretty good. Next question is from Amos Morales. Yeah, PJ, when you got pressed into to safety action last year, did you kind of think that it would evolve into this where, you know, you're kind of playing a little bit there and a little bit of corner and, you know, kind of doing more in the defense? Uh, not – I wasn't really sure, but I think after that second game that I played it, uh, coach was pretty much telling me this could be something that, that we do. So uh, after that, definitely just – and then going through practice that next week is like, oh, yeah, this, this definitely could be a position that I can uh, be able to play or, or play a role in. Next question is 
from Nick Underhill? Yeah, just in general, with all the versatility in the, in the secondary, is it kind of crazy to think about, like, all the different stuff you guys can, can do as a group? I mean, there's a lot of you guys that can play a lot of different spots. Oh, yeah, definitely. Man, I feel like the sky's the limit for our secondary and for our defense. we got a, a good defense, smart, a lot of guys that played a whole lot of football and that can play in a lot of different places. So uh, it's definitely, I feel like it's going to be great for our uh, secondary this year. Next question is from Luke Johnson. Hey, PJ, uh, I hope you've seen, uh, uh, I get CD Deuce, uh, CJ. <laughs> have you seen him, like, kind of evolve uh, since since his rookie year? And he seems kind of like a high-energy guy back there. Oh, yeah, man. That's that's what he do. That's what he is. He's a high-energy guy. He brings a lot of energy to the team. And just, I feel like he definitely getting, uh, just learning, getting smarter, not just playing out there. And he, he does a great job of playing fast, but, just I feel like learning learning the defense and, and learning what the, the offense is giving you, that's that'll definitely help take his game to the next level. So I feel like that's what he's doing well this year. Next question's from Amy Jess. Yeah, nothing of consequence, but we'd heard, you know, Ohio State this, Ohio State that forever, uh, in the locker room and now there's like a half dozen Florida State guys <laughs> on the team, uh, you included. What's that been like? Just seeing so many Seminoles in that locker room. Oh, yeah, it's nice, man. You always want to see somebody that went to your school, man. So we, we all real cool and, and tight, so it's definitely good seeing a lot of players. And there's a few players that I came in with at Florida State, and so it's definitely fun seeing the guys that you went to school with and guys that went to your school. I think that should wrap it up. Thanks for joining us, PJ. All right, thank you. Have a good one.